Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community. Today's video is coming up right after this. Ostracised from a cruel society Just cause I suffer from a little anxiety Please help me I say quietly through gritted teeth and a fight for sobriety Recognising between normal anxiety and generalised anxiety disorder can be difficult How do you know if you have normal anxiety or an anxiety disorder? That's what we are going to find out in this video Many people feel anxious from time to time. Anxiety is a normal human experience. Anxiety is considered a beneficial response in certain dangerous situations that trigger the fight or flight stress response. The majority of people around the world feel anxious before an exam or before a job interview. That is considered normal anxiety. But how do you know if your anxiety isn't normal anymore and has become an anxiety disorder? When you worry excessively that it interferes with your daily life, then you may have GAD and GAD stands for Generalized Anxiety Disorder. GAD is the nickname and the short name for it. Generalized anxiety symptoms include the following. Inability to set aside or let go of worry. Constant worrying or obsession with small or large concerns that's out of proportion to the impact of the event. Inability to relax, restlessness, and feeling on edge. Difficulty concentrating. Worrying about worrying. Difficulty making decisions. Negative conclusions to situations in your mind. Generalized anxiety disorder, GAD, also has physical symptoms that include the following. Fatigue, muscle tension or muscle aches, trembling or shaking, trouble sleeping, sweating, nausea, diarrhea or IBS, which stands for irritable bowel syndrome and headaches. Now out of all the symptoms, you probably don't have every single symptom on that list. However, you may have a few, which means you might be suffering from GAD, Generalized Anxiety Disorder. If you have more than two of those symptoms on that list, I would highly recommend you talking to a doctor or a mental health professional because you may have GAD, Generalized Anxiety Disorder. If you are constantly worrying all the time about different situations, different scenarios in your life, and it is starting to interfere with your life, you stop doing things that you used to do, then that's a sign your anxiety isn't normal anxiety anymore. And like I just said, I would highly recommend you talking to your doctor or a mental health professional and they will be firstly able to diagnose you with an anxiety disorder like generalized anxiety disorder and then they will be able to help you with your anxiety, whether that be giving you medication to control and help your symptoms therapy where you can talk to someone face to face about how you are feeling and they may be able to help you. If you want to talk to someone right now about your anxiety and it is affecting your life, there is a link in the description box down below to the world's largest online counseling and therapy website where they can firstly diagnose you with an anxiety disorder and then give you the help that you need and deserve to get your life back on track. The link is in the description box down below. I now want to hear from you, 
Yes, you, you guys and girls in the comment section. Do you suffer from an anxiety disorder? If so, which one? And let me know what symptoms your anxiety disorder causes you to have. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, please give this video a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as it says right there with the two smiley faces for more mental health content like this again in the future. Take care guys and girls and I'll see you all tomorrow for another video.